The metaphor of development teams throwing applications over a wall to the operations group for deployment is often used to illustrate that development and operations operate as silos. In 2008, the DevOps movement was born to try and break down these barriers and encourage more collaboration and teamwork. The idea that flourished in the initial discussions was how do we get the two silos, one silo being the development group and the second silo being the operations group, how do we get the two of them to coordinate and to talk with each other? And this discussion went on and as a result you started to see several books come out saying this is a good idea, what should we work on? And one in particular was the DevOps Handbook. It's something that's been in the industry being talked about for about, well, probably a decade and a half. A growing consensus in the information technology community is that DevOps equals Agile plus Lean plus Information Technology Service Management, or ITSM. And the value placed in these skills is evident when examining developer salaries. We found that if you, of the sample, if you did not possess Agile, Lean, or Idle, the median salary was roughly $75,000. If you possessed all three, the median salary was roughly 125000 So the premiums uh, translated to roughly a 26% salary premium for Agile, a 9% salary premium for Lean, and a 16% salary premium for Idle. To understand the full benefits of DevOps, one should look at what each component actually achieves. So ag Agile is... Um, more of a methodology for software development. The idea with Agile is to have a lot of human interaction, a lot of connection uh, with the customer and the user. So you have a very um, accelerated development times using a lot of quick feedback loops. And so you want to build a high quality product in a very short period of time. Lean looks at maximizing the product that's being produced for the customer with a minimal amount of waste. Information technology service management is a philosophy of how to deliver IT services to an organization. The idea is to align the IT services with the business needs of the organization. The most popular, some would say the de facto framework is called IDLE which stands for the Information Technology Infrastructure Library, which, as it says, is really just a set of books. The core thing in IDLE is uh, value. Value is delivered to the customer. The seven guiding principles of IDLE help cultivate the required skills needed to build successful cross-functional teams that foster team integration. The, the DevOps is nice because DevOps is saying, you know, you need to kind of look at all this stuff together. And, uh, and maybe that's how we should be evolving our education. Learn more in What Do Agile, Lean, and Idle Mean to DevOps? A contributed article in the October 2020 Communications of the ACM.